Does one actually baby dance on the day of the peak LH or do they really have 48 hours to try to catch the egg? Oh, I like that, to catch the egg. Hi ladies! Thanks for stopping by. My name is Helen. If you're new here, welcome. I started my YouTube channel just last year when I started my IVF treatments abroad in Korea. And I started to document my entire journey as well as, you know, just share all the knowledge that I started learning. It has been a long journey with eight retrievals so far and three transfers that have not worked out in my favor yet. But I at least find some solace in connecting with the women who are also going through the same thing as me and sharing whatever that I learn along the way. And, you know, just having that connection with all of you has been so meaningful to me. As some of you may know, I have come home back to California for the summer just to kind of relax and get my mind and body back to the place that it needs to be in order to continue. My doctor actually told me that my ovaries were not in the best condition after all of these back-to-back -back treatments and so I am taking a break. It is really nice to be home with my cats and my husband. It's you just don't know the things that you're missing until they're out of your life. So I'm so grateful to be back home. I currently only have one day three frozen embryo. At the beginning of this year, I started out with seven and we transferred all of them. And unfortunately, they either ended in chemical pregnancies or, you know, didn't work out at all. So if you haven't seen my journey about my embryo transfers, I will link that up here. So yeah, I have been documenting my entire journey. Well, not all of it because the hospital doesn't really allow me to do that. They're really strict about filming inside the clinic, but I have been sharing as much as I can about my journey abroad in Korea, where I am originally from. Last year, I started a business helping other women from the States or Canada or actually anywhere in the world who speaks English and can communicate with me. We just started helping a lot of women come to Korea to get affordable quality IVF treatments. So we have been connecting women from all over the world to hospitals in Korea with the best doctors. So if you are interested in a different route i guess because ivf in the states is so expensive then i do recommend that you go check out bloom korea and i will put the website up here somewhere today we have an exciting q a session about the mira hormone monitor last month i announced the giveaway and the task for you was to ask a question about either something about your fertility hormones or about the Mira monitor, Mira hormone monitor, which I have right here. I will also announce the winner of the giveaway, which is a random draw. So stay tuned for that at the end of the video. I just want to start by saying thank you so much for participating in the giveaway. There were a lot of participants and a lot of questions and interest in Mira, which I'm so excited about because this is definitely a device that has changed my life in a good way. It really does make all the difference knowing about your hormones and being able to do it at home. Just knowing makes all the difference in your level of anxiety. And so I hope that this device helps you as much as it does me. For those of you who do not know what the Mira hormone monitor it is, it is this device over here and basically it replaces your LH strips to track your ovulation. 
but also it tracks other hormones too like estrogen progesterone and fsh this is the wand and there is a strip in here a wand we call it a wand and then you stick it in the device after you dip this in your urine and then uh, it will tell you in about 21 minutes well actually it will tell you in exactly 21 minutes what your hormone levels are so it's super easy it is super convenient for people who are trying to conceive for those of us who are afraid that we're going into perimenopause any minute now um, for those of us who are tracking our hormones for IVF. It's also really beneficial for those with PCOS. I did make a video a few months ago about the Mira Hormone Monitor and it was my first time unboxing and using it and it tells you step by step how to use it. So I will link that video up here if you have not seen that yet. Okay, so there were so many questions and so I'm going to talk about the top 10 most popular questions and we'll go from there. Let's see. Several of you wanted to know if the Mira Hormone Monitor can track your cycles accurately and absolutely. It has 99% lab grade accuracy and so this is basically your little mini lab at home you don't have to go to the doctor's office you can track everything at home and it's really convenient mira gives you very accurate hormone measurements and you don't have to decipher if this line is darker than yesterday's line like you do with the opks you just get a number it's very clear what your hormones are and you don't have to play any guessing games so that's what i absolutely love about it it also gives you kind of a read on what the general healthy user what their stats are and if you're kind of on par with that as well as what it looks like for pregnant people yes to answer your question it is very accurate and it helps you track your entire cycle and you learn so much about your hormones so if you're feeling moody then <laughs> you can test yourself and see why another question that was very common was how does mira help you with your ivf cycle for me it helped me in a couple of different ways one thing that Mira can help you with is tracking your FSH. FSH is one of those fertility hormones that's pretty important to know as well as your AMH and other hormones. I also tracked my progesterone after my embryo transfer just to make sure that it was high enough. Obviously because I was on so much progesterone, I was on suppositories and subcutaneous shots as as well as well those were the two and i was also on estrogen i knew that those levels were going to be high but i just wanted to see for myself so by tracking your hormones as you're prepping for ivf it can kind of give you a better and clearer sense of your hormone health and that will give you a lot more confidence going into IVF. Another question was about the cost of Mira, and I'm not gonna lie, it, it is an investment, but if you think about all the money that you spend at your doctor's office and to the, at the labs trying to get tested all the time, having this palm-sized lab at home is actually kind of worth it. The device itself has its own cost and the wands have its own cost which I will link everything below so that you can go check it out for yourself. But there are always discounts and promotions going on and I will put up my discount code for 20% off. Um, this is a limited time promotion. So from the time that this video goes up, it's only gonna be 20% off for three days. So I hope you take advantage of that. If you don't win this giveaway, that is, a lot of you have asked how easy it is to use Mira and I have to say I am not a super tech savvy person. Actually, I'm like the opposite of a tech savvy person. Everything that I go near breaks and <laughs> I have to say that this is 
one of those very easy and straightforward devices that I have not had any issues with. So if I can use it, then you can use it pretty easily. Another question that was very common was about the Mira app. Before this one, I used a few other apps to track my uh, cycles. And this one, I feel like it just combines everything. I stopped using any of my other apps to track my cycle. Now I just explicitly use the Mira Fertility app. It syncs automatically when your device is done tracking your hormone or when your results are in. The Mira mobile app is very intuitive and user-friendly. Honestly, guys, I would not say this unless I really thought so because I really don't like downloading new apps and learning new softwares. I'm just one of those people, like, I just want to keep it simple, you know? <laughs> but the Mira app has been very easy to use and it's just a great place to track everything. Okay, really popular question. Does Mira track HCG? So HCG is the pregnancy hormone. So as soon as you're pregnant, that's the hormone that starts appearing in your urine. So currently Mira does not test for HCG, but it is something that they're working on right now. I'm so excited for it because, oh man, that's really gonna be a game changer. Unfortunately, it doesn't just end for us with a positive pregnancy test. It is a longer journey than that. After you get your positive pregnancy test, your HCG has to double every 48 hours and you know, you want to be able to check that because you want to know that your pregnancy is going well. Okay, so how often do you have to buy the wands? That's another popular question. You usually need about 10 to 20 wands per cycle. The Mira app dynamically calculates when you need to use the wands and it reminds you to do your testing on those days. You test occasionally at the beginning of your cycle and then about once per day during your fertile window and then um, a couple of times a day during your ovulation. I usually start testing around my fertile window and then into my luteal phase, which is after my ovulation to make sure that my progesterone is high enough to sustain a pregnancy. So that's usually when I test but you should be able to see on the mirror app when is a good time for you to test how does one find out if they have pcos or low amh or another issue using mira what are the signs of the tracker does one actually baby dance on the day of the peak lh or do they really have 48 hours to try to catch the egg oh i like that to catch the egg <laughs> Okay, so Mira cannot diagnose PCOS or low AMH or DOR. That's something that you need to get your doctor to do. But what Mira Hormone Monitor can help you do is help pinpoint when you ovulate, even with those diagnoses. The LH peak happens and then about eight to 20 hours later, that's when you ovulate. So that's when you can catch the egg. <laughs> So I would say you want to do the baby dance all throughout your fertile window, but as soon as you hit that peak, that's when you want to do it too, because you want to have sperm waiting for the egg and not the egg waiting for sperm. So you know how us girls are. We, we want to be waited on. We don't want to do the waiting. Okay, here's a really good question. How do you interpret the hormone readings on Mira and know whether they are at normal levels during different stages of your cycle? On Mira app, you can see your charts and then you also see a healthy average user's chart or range, if you will. So you can compare yourself to the average you can also compare your charts to women who are pregnant as well. Also, Mira has a ton of facts and a Facebook group and also support. A lot of you are asking what hormones does Mira track? And the kit that I got is called the Mira Max kit. So 
Mira Hormone Monitor Max Kit. And it starts with three hormones, LH, E3G, which is estrogen, and then PDG, progesterone. So those are the three hormones that I have been tracking, but you can also track uh, FSH. And if you want FSH, then you can get the Mira Hormone Monitor Clarity Kit. If you feel like that's too much and you just want to track your ovulation, you can just get the basic kit, which just tracks LH and E3G. Okay. So this question is for me. Have you ever tested your hormones before you had DOR? Do you have any idea of when it started? I did not test at all before I was 38 or 37 actually. No, 38. So I tested very late. And part of the reason why I started this YouTube channel is because I wanted to share my knowledge with other women and let them know, hey, you should start testing early. Because nobody really had educated me or told me that I needed to test my hormones earlier. I honestly did not know that I would have this issue. I think most people don't think that they will have an issue with fertility. A lot of my friends have had amazing careers and I'm surrounded by strong women who have found love later on in life and then they got married later and all had babies at 40. I honestly thought that I would be like one of them because I was surrounded by women like that. Um, but that simply was not the case for me and so i have an idea of why i have dor i think during my 20s and 30s i really did not treat my body well um, i had worked my ass off for a lack of a better term I think some days I worked like 18 hours a day and it was just like such a strenuous, high anxiety and highly stressful environment to work in. Career was my number one priority at that time. And I wish that I had prioritized fertility, but I just never did. So part of the reason why I'm sharing everything with everyone is because I am hoping that I'm able to help somebody else out there that doesn't know that they have to get tested. I hope that I can help somebody learn through my own mistakes. Okay, a couple of you asked questions about getting Mira in the EU and the UK. So let me answer those questions. Is it possible to use Mira in Europe? There's also another question asking, will I be able to buy wands in the UK later? Yes and yes, the Mira Hormone Monitor and app are available worldwide and you can purchase it from anywhere in the world and it will get delivered to you. So even if you're in Europe or in Asia, you can buy Mira. And now it's time for the announcement of the giveaway winner. How exciting, this is my first time doing this, so. The winner of our Mira Hormone Monitor is Susie M3454. Congratulations! And please reach out via email. I'll put my email address in the description so that you can reach out to me. And please reach out within a week of when this video goes up to claim your prize. And for those of you who did not win, thank you so much for participating and sending me your amazing questions. If you're still interested in the Mira Hormone Monitor, my code H-E-L-L-Y-N-N -N will give you 20% off for just the next three days. So you can go ahead and use that for yourself. If there's any topic that you guys want me to talk about in my upcoming videos, please tell me in the comments below. I love getting your feedback and talking about what you want me to talk about. And so I would really appreciate your thoughts. I am sending everyone so much love and light. Thank you for being on this journey with me. I'm so grateful for all of you. 
and if you enjoyed this video please like it and if you have not yet subscribed please subscribe to my channel and please share this video with someone that you feel it may benefit on their journey so i'll see you next time and baby dust to everyone